friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Jams. I'm Kathy. I'm very happy to see you today. I am going to share with you um, three boxes that I recently purchased from Pop Sugar. Um, Pop Sugar is a lifestyle subscription box. I do not currently get their subscription. It is on my wish list, but they will have a variety of items. Um, they do like the monthly the monthly box, and I want to say it's around 35 or so. I could be wrong. I'll put a link to them down below. Um, but there could be makeup, there could be um, jewelry, there could be home decor. Um, you never really know what you're going to get in um, Pop Sugar. Most people who get it absolutely love it and feel the values there. And what Pop Sugar does um, several times a year is they will offer up their mystery boxes, where I believe they just take the excess inventory from the previous um, months or the pre previous year and um, pull together some different boxes. So. Um, since I don't subscribe, I do get emails from them. I'm on their mailing list and I follow my subscription addiction and I will link their um, website down below that if you have a subscription box addiction like I do, they are good and a bad place, <laughs> but they have like posts going all the time about of all different kinds of boxes and whenever there's a deal or a discount and then they'll do reviews of them. So that's when I find out about these boxes. They also will receive one of each of them and um, disclose what's in them all so you can see what the different variations are. So okay, let's just dive into this. When I ordered them in July, they had a special. I ordered two boxes and I was over the moon excited. Um, at the end of this video, I'll have a, a link in if you want to go see that, that unboxing. So they are $25, this, this time they are $25 a box. So I took a risk and I ordered three because I thought Christmas is coming. There's going to be some great gift items in here. I will make it work. And they don't guarantee, but they do state, you know, if you order multiple boxes, they will try and make sure you have received different ones, because in this case they had 10 different variations. So I thought, no problem, I was fine last time. Well, my boxes arrived and they were all three identical. I was so bummed. Um, and I'll show you this first box and this is what I received three of. What I do want to insert though is that I was very impressed with their customer service. I contacted them, I just sent them an email and I wasn't complaining because I'm like it's a mystery box that you know that kind of stuff happens. Um, but I just wanted to let them know that you know I did receive three and I was so disappointed after such a good experience previously and you know kind of learned my lesson but I don't hold it against them and I would find a use for everything. They replied right away and said, we're so sorry, um, we can do two options for you. Number one, we can send you out a special gift just as a thank you and, um, you know, to try and make up for it. Or if you would like to send back two of the boxes, we will send you two others. And um, they offered to pay the shipping to have them returned and I'm like, heck. I'll do that. I didn't, I was curious what kind of gift they would have sent out, but I thought, no, I'd rather take the risk and get two new boxes. So they did, you know, it was a little bit of a hassle because I had to have it sent back through FedEx and I don't have a FedEx pickup, but I, I made it work. That wasn't their fault. They um, definitely made it good and I didn't expect them to. So the first box is this one that I received. I've taken everything out of here. I'm going to try and keep track and somehow put them together. Um, you can see it's a really big box and it was a really heavy box. So um, I'm going to reverse order of the packing. The one item I received was the Zabingo game. This is very heavy. Now um, I play Mingo, but I play it with my, um, with Eddie's family, we play Mexican Bingo, which if you've never played that, it's very similar, but you need to know your Spanish words or you need to learn the pictures really quickly. So this is very heavy duty. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I guess it could be a gift, um, but it has eight boards. Uh, it's, you know, very high quality. Um, so there's eight different boards that are very heavy cardstock. I don't even think it's cardstock, it's more chipboard. And then they have um, 
I don't think I can get it out. They've got, you know, the tokens to cover your spots. And they also have like the calling board for who's ever um, the bingo caller. So a very nice gift item. If only I know someone that would like a bingo set. So this was in my kit and I'm going to um, put the information as I show each item, the pricing info of it, which again, I pulled from my subscription addiction. I didn't look all these up, so I'm using their information. Thank you <laughs> to, the, um, to Liz out there. She's an amazing person. This is probably my favorite thing in this whole box. This is just a little candle. You know, I say little because it's, again, I'm not a candle person. I always try and do this and then I can't tell how big it is. Anyway, it's an eight ounce candle and it is from Homestead. Nutmeg and Amber is the, I can't get this thing to come off. Um, there it goes. It's just a clear candle in a metal tin. Very Christmassy. I think it's like they're from their holiday collection. So um, I'll use a candle. Candles are good. I received a hair product. This is a dry texturizing spray from Oribe. Oribe? Oribe? I won't even say. Here, this is what I got. So like a travel size. I don't really use texturizing spray. To me it's kind of like the sea salt sprays, which I think are, they don't, they aren't for my hair type. I received another beauty or a beauty item from Cargo Cosmetics, a full-sized blush, and it is um, in a very pale pinky tone. It's called the Big Easy. So this is nice. Um, I just, I don't use blush that often and I can't imagine how long it would take me to use like this full size. I actually prefer getting blush samplers <laughs> in some beauty boxes, but um, definitely can be a gift. This I've received, um, and I'm not excited, I've received like the sample size of this Briogeo um, Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I know some people love this and it's okay. I don't get like a deep conditioning effect. I just found I just use it like a regular conditioner and it works great. I've left it in for a long period of time, haven't noticed a different. They had other products that in this line I've been wanting to try that I just haven't received. So I got a, this full-size little tub, little meaning huge tub. Um, I received some snacks, kind of your random um, classic uh, sea salt Joe chips, big snacks, and then a um, skinny black and white scarf from Michael Stars. I don't know that I'm gonna wear this. This is, I don't know. So it's a nice long, it's very lightweight. Um, and I know they had like a whole list of different ways to wear the scarf. So that was everything in the first box. So I was like, you know, like I said, the candle I think is my favorite item and the rest is kind of like, hmm, ho-hum. So I was greatly disappointed when I had three of the same box. So. I have the other two boxes. I'm going to kind of show you what came in those. And here's another one. This was also the same size and heavy. There are some repeats, so I'm not going to um, pull them all out. This, or as in much detail, this has another bingo. <laughs> bingo set. This one's still wrapped so I can use it for gifting. Um, so that is a repeat. This is a repeat and this I was very annoyed and I'm not going to contact them because really uh, they did a fairly good job of packaging but not they should not have included these chips with these heavy items because this got popped open and there were chips all over and now there's like grease marks on everything from the potato chips. So and I know, I'm sure it wasn't broken when they put it in there, but you know how a chip bag just kind of pops. That's what happened. <laughs> um, there is this really large um, bottle opener and it's quite heavy and it says cheers. I don't use bottle openers. Gift item. Isn't it perfect for like that white elephant time of year? <laughs> we do a lot of white elephant gifting at um, Christmas. I got a, another a tub of the hair mask. This is very heavy and this is a glass bottle. Now this they had bubble wrapped and very well protected. It is um, a bubble bath with oatmeal, fur and grapefruit. 
It's not their fault. I don't do baths, but I have friends that do, so I will gift this to them. And this is a little postcard pack. And you open it up. And, you know, it's got this little carrier. And these, they're all Thanksgiving related postcards. So, here you got thankful. Ooh, give thanks. This says joy. That's almost more of a Christmassy one. Um, does that say choose happy? And thank you for being you. And then the back is actually just a postcard. So I can probably use these as a card maker. I kind of make my own. But I actually think I might turn these up into like a card. I'll use them as kind of a base and go off on my own endeavor. Um, this I was actually kind of excited to see because I don't have one. It's from Power Gloss and it's a universal charger. So it's one of those where you um, charge it up and then you can charge up your phone or your iPad, whatever needs charging when you're on the go. And looks it's supposed to like fit in your makeup bag. It's a little bigger than a lipstick, but um, it does have the cord so you would just plug this in and it has um, you have to like plug it into like your computer to have it charge so this was a good a good one <laughs> the last item in this box I'm just not sure about I'm not a fancy person but so here's this little you think it's like a date book or something um, Christian LaCroix but no it's like a little pack of post-it notes maybe people who need these in their purses or their planners me not so much not this you know they're very pretty they're ombre colored um so this is you know too fancy too fancy for me and that was everything in the second box and the third box is a bit smaller and again has some repeats and that I knew this was a risk that you would get repeats because again they're just trying to curate these boxes and you know get them out so it's okay um, so now more repeats we got a second black and white skinny scarf um, another candle but this is a different scent this one is in the scent holiday magic and it is so amazing just having it's not even lit it's like got a pretty good throw um, I received another one of the cargo blushes in the same color another fancy post-it note holder then I received the or texturing spray again and we received another universal charger and the other item that is new for this one, so make sure I never mixed up, is a snack item from the GFB. It's gluten-free bites, dark chocolate coconut. So those look pretty yummy. So there you go. That is everything. I'm trying to move this out of the way that I got in my three mystery boxes. If you want to see what other um, variations were available, go ahead and click on the link I have for my subscription addiction. I will show you the total value of each of these boxes, what they come out to be retail value. Um, as if you're new here, what I always say is, you know, what people will give as a retail value does not necessarily mean I would pay that value because normally I don't. I'm a shop on sale type person and I could not imagine paying like the retail price for some of these items. But I think it's interesting to just kind of see if I got a good value. And I am sad. I have some great items that I will be gifting over the holidays and there are some I can use, but I am a little hesitant the next time Pop Sugar does their mystery boxes. I don't know that I'll go for three. Maybe I'll do two again. I don't know. It'll kind of just depend. I watch the um, unboxings from friends of mine, so I kind of know what they have every month. So then when they do their next mystery box I'm thinking well is it gonna be this or this you just never know but I'm a sucker for anything when it's a surprise it's like ooh, it could be something really good or it could not so anyway check out the links below did any of you get these mystery boxes did you have the same problem if you ordered multiples um, like I said this was the second time I've ordered so I'm not sure if it was a fluke I did see in um, the discussion out on my subscription addiction there were other people that had the same problem where they received duplicates but um, 
same thing if they contacted customer service they were given the option for replacement so i you know i praise them for that because not every subscription box has the best customer service so thanks again for stopping i'm glad you are here to see me today and in case nobody has told you lately you matter you make a difference in this world don't ever forget it you matter to me and i know there's more people in the world that love and appreciate you too until next time my dear friends Bye.